Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I will be sketching in Guangzhou Market, located in Seoul, South Korea. And in this video, I'm going to give you more urban sketching tips. And this video is actually part two. So if you have not watched part one, the link to that video is in the video description below. So while I was here yesterday evening time, this place was packed with people who are here for dinner. And as you can see, early in the morning, most of the food stores are actually not open yet. So the first tip for you is always check the opening time for the venues or the buildings that you intend to sketch at. Even though not many food stores are opened, the thing with urban sketching is while I wait for the stores to open, I can always sketch. So here we have some Koreans eating their breakfast. Right now I just want to walk around and see what other interesting spots there are in this market. So my next tip for you is to spend some time to walk around to discover the places that you want to sketch. Don't always settle down at the first location because that may not be the most interesting place to sketch. So spend some time to walk around and you can also do some research using Google Maps to find out what are the more busy or lively spots. And the more you walk around, the more you will be able to experience being here on location. So the main difference between urban sketching versus taking a photo at the places you have been to is when you are sketching on location, you really want to feel like you are there on location. So do take the time to like really experience yourself being there on location. Take your time to sketch. Don't feel like you have to rush. And after you have more experience, you will know whether you are the type of person who will create good sketches when you're rushing for time or you are someone who prefers to draw more slowly and draw more accurately and that's where you may actually create better looking sketches. So everyone is different. So just go and draw at your own place, sorry, own pace. So as you can probably tell, this is the quiet street. This is the street that is selling the textiles, the clothes. This market is huge by the way. And if you want to sketch here the whole day, you can easily do so. If you are in a new location, if you are traveling and you don't know where to sketch, I highly recommend you sketch at markets. Markets are where you will find the most activity. You will see locals buying their produce, buying their food, eating, gathering, meeting their friends, bargaining. I love sketching in markets because there are so many things to draw. So if you don't have any ideas on what to draw, come to a market. I'm pretty sure you will be able to find something to draw. My next tip for you is when you find a sketching spot inside the market, make sure you don't block the traffic and try not to sketch in front of stalls because that's going to affect the business of the stalls. And even if the stall is closed, do check the opening time because the stall may open later and you may affect the opening of the store. In crowded places like this, always be aware of your surroundings, be aware of your belongings, your wallets, your bags, and of course your sketchbooks. So to sketch at this intersection, I probably will have to stand because if I sit down, I will not be able to see or draw the food. So I will have to stand. If you are a beginner, I'm not sure if I would recommend you sketch in the market because it can be quite overwhelming as there are so many things happening. If you feel like you're up for the challenge, go ahead. Just allocate enough time to draw because the more things there are to draw, the more time you will need to draw all those details. Half an hour has passed and this place is really starting to come alive. So it's now really crowded. 
and it's not easy to find a good spot to stand and sketch. Regardless of the sketching tools you use, make sure you are familiar with the tools because sketching on location for beginners can be quite overwhelming and you don't really want to add unnecessary stress trying to figure out whether the tools work well and how well they work together. It's good to have some warm-up sketches done first just to get those first few bad sketches out of the way. So this is where I will be sketching and I am standing beside this door which is not open. So this is the view that I am going to sketch and this is definitely going to be an extremely challenging scene to sketch. So I'm actually using an iPad for this sketch because this trip to South Korea is actually a holiday with my wife and I don't want to spend that much time sketching, but I still want to sketch. So I use an iPad instead, which has no setup time and I don't have to clean up the watercolor after I sketch. The app I'm using is Concepts and this is a really wonderful app, a very easy app to use for sketching. And I really like the pencil brush style that I am currently using. The technique I use for this sketch is just observation drawing and yes I did find out where the vanishing point is for this one point perspective scene but otherwise I'm actually just drawing from observation. For a complex scene like this the most important thing you need is probably patience to complete the sketch because there are just so many details you have to draw. And I find that if you draw slowly, if you really slow down and observe what you see, if you draw slowly, you will be able to draw more carefully, more accurately, and you will make less mistake, and that will actually help you draw faster. I prefer to use Concepts over Procreate because this app suits the sketching style really well, and it's also a very simple app to use. By the way, if you guys want to learn more about drawing or using the Concepts app, you can check out the few online courses that I have created using the link in the video description below. So right now I'm just adding colors behind the line art. I'm using this chalk brush, which is why you can see lots of textures. And this is a very simple way to color. It's as if I'm coloring this sketch with colored pencils. If I'm sketching with my watercolor sketchbook, I will definitely need to clip my watercolor box, the micro portable painter to the sketchbook in order to paint with watercolor. So I'm just adding the finishing touches such as the textures on the ground, the colorful flags above and done. So this is my completed sketch. I took 1 hour and 40 minutes to draw this and this is incredibly challenging. So 5 minutes after I started drawing this, I actually took the tablet out from the tablet case just so that it's lighter. And yes, this door is going to open and thankfully I have already completed my sketch. See guys, I told you, be careful about standing in front of stores that are closed. Let me give you some tips on sketching people. If you see someone who has just sat down on the bench or on any seats, start drawing that person immediately because that person is going to spend some time on the seat. As compared to drawing someone who is already seated there, that person may actually stand up suddenly and just leave. And also when you're drawing, try to leave some space to draw people later on if you anticipate people who are going to sit on the seat. Because for example, if I had drawn all the details here and someone actually sat here, then I won't be able to draw that person. So you have to anticipate who is going to be sitting down and who is going to stand up and leave. And also for this particular sketch, I tried to show the food because that's actually one of the highlights for this sketch, showing the food. So I wanted this clear space um, here to be able to show all the food that is on display. And this, um, the food here is actually in the foreground, which is great because here I can actually zoom in to see more of the food. Compared to the food, which is actually in the background, you can see all those are suggested with details. So you can't really see what's the food there. There is a fruit store here um, selling some fruits. I actually 
bought some fruit juice from this lady yesterday. So this is the scene that I tried to capture and there is a lot going on. I'm trying to find a quieter place to talk because the area with all the food stalls is getting really noisy. This whole street was empty, almost empty earlier and now you can see all the stalls have opened and it's just packed. And this is the quieter area of the market. So if you're using a small sketchbook, that can actually work to your advantage because when you have a small sketchbook, you can't draw that much details in your small sketchbook. Whereas if you're using a big sketchbook or using an app with an infinite canvas, you can draw on and on and you need to know when to stop drawing. For this particular scene, I really want to show the food. So if someone is to sit down here on the bench, I will not draw that person. I will draw somewhere else first and then wait for the person to leave before I continue drawing the food. Once you have more experience with sketching, you will know how much time you usually take to complete a sketch. And once you have that knowledge, you can use that to plan your sketching trips. Some scenes will naturally take more time to draw, so do allocate enough time for sketching. Before I started urban sketching, I actually took photographs and I tried to cover as many places as possible, take as many photos as possible. But after I joined urban sketching, I realized that it's actually better to slow down and really enjoy the place that you are at and sketch the place. Even if you visit one or two places a day, with sketching, you will be able to remember the places more vividly compared to you spending the split seconds to take a photo. When planning your trips, it's good to spend the hot afternoons indoors, sketching indoors rather than outdoors because in the afternoon, the sun can get terribly uncomfortable especially if you're not able to find a shaded spot for drawing. So the good time to draw during 10 a.m. in the morning to maybe 2 or 3 p.m. in the afternoon is to draw or sketch indoors. Do I look tired? I think I look tired because standing and sketching is quite exhausting. Anyway, the last thing I want to say is don't be depressed if your sketch doesn't turn out the way you envisioned because Urban sketching is a never-ending learning process and you can only get better with more practice. What's more important really is to enjoy the sketching process, enjoy the company and enjoy being on location, enjoy being present. Before you go, I just want to ask for a favor. Consider supporting me on Patreon if you enjoy watching urban sketching videos because I do enjoy making these videos for you guys. So your support will help me make more videos like the one you have just watched. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye!